Minister, you know, you kept a lot of promises today. A lot of people are giving you credit for that. But one promise you didn't keep was the deficit number, three times the amount that had been promised in the campaign, and no sense that it can possibly balance before the end of your mandate. Why were you unable to keep that promise? Well, Peter, let me start by saying it's a real pleasure to be on your show. I, uh, I guess I should start by saying we focused on what Canadians asked us to do. They asked us to improve the lives of middle-class Canadians, and they asked us to grow the economy. So our focus was on doing exactly that. Uh, with respect to the investments, uh, we know that this is the right time to make investments. We've got the lowest interest rates in history. We've got a very favorable debt uh, situation. We've the lowest debt to GDP situation in the G7 countries. But you, had all, you had all of that during the election campaign, yet you didn't promise this, this amount of uh, deficit and the fact you wouldn't balance it by the end of your mandate. And that's the question. Why were you unable to make that promise happen? Well, what we've done is we've, we've made uh, a, a concrete uh, first steps to make significant investments in the economy. What you can see is that we've uh, made steps that we think are going to allow us to grow the economy more significantly, significantly more significantly than we would be able to do if we weren't making those investments. So our goal is to do it, to do it prudently. We want to reduce our net debt to GDP over the course of our mandate. And in our estimation, we will be able to improve growth. And as you'll see in the budget, we think that if we're able to improve growth, we have uh, looking forward the possibility of getting into a balanced budget situation in about five years or so. Some people think you're being overly cautious. In fact, that you're being pessimistic about uh, the potential for the future in growth, uh, almost deliberately, knowing that uh, you know the gro growth numbers are. Uh, are going to go further up than you're seeing them right now, that the oil price uh, could go up and that the need for a $6 billion contingency fund uh, is questionable. So the, the issue is, um, could the numbers, in fact, be much better than you're forecasting them to be by the end of this mandate? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I... Um have aspired to be open and transparent with Canadians. We did put in a factor for prudence in our budget. We looked at the estimates that private sector economists have made over the last five years, and we found that they overestimated what would happen in terms of growth in the economy. So we put in a factor for risk. Yes to your question, we certainly are making investments in order to engineer growth. And to the extent we are able to have that growth, which we are looking towards, we will be able to reduce that risk adjustment over time having a better situation for Canada. We will all be happy if our investments do result in what we expect, which is a higher level of growth for this generation and for the next generation of Canadians. All right, Minister, we'll uh, leave it at that. We appreciate your time tonight. Okay, well, thank you very much for having me on. Thank you.